today let us start exercise 2h will still continue to apply identity here we have to factorize so mainly because you see cube cube we will factorize using the identity if we cannot use identity then we have to split middle term or take common so here you see we have x power 3 then 64 since we have x to power 3, let's split 64. Can we get power 3 or not? Uh, 64, you know that it is equal to 8 into 8. So we have 8 square. But here we want 3. Okay. So 8, we can write it as 4 into 2. Another 8, we can write 4 into 2. Then here we have 4, 4. 2 into 2, 4. So that means 4 into 4 into 4. 4 into 4, 16. 16 into 4, 64. That means 64 we can write in the form 4 to the power 3. So now if you compare it, okay? X similar to A, 4 similar to B. So it becomes the formula a to the power b plus b to the power b since we have to factorize that means we have to find the factor we can apply the third form of the formula because we have second third first second third form first and second we can use it for expand but here we want to find the factor so we will use the third form so that third form remember this is formula okay a cube plus b cube it is equal to a plus b whole then a square minus a b plus b square so if you compare here your a is x <coughs> then your b is 4 so now how we will write the answer the answer we will write it in this way using the formula but in place of x a we have to replace with x in place of b we have to put with 4 the rest of the power plus minus will depend on the formula so that's why we can write as x3 4 to the power 3 it will be equal to a plus b inside bracket so open bracket in place of a we have to write x then come plus from the formula in place of b we have to put 4 close the bracket then open we have a square so a we have x then power 2 come from the formula what sign here we have we have minus what is a x what is b 4 then plus b square in place of b we have to put square so now we cannot do anything it will remain x plus 4 so x square it remain x square 4 into x 4x here if it is alphabet we cannot multiply but since it is a number we can do so 4 into 4 16 okay so that mean a cubed plus b cubed it will be equal to a plus b whole a square minus 4x plus 16 so this will be the required answer because after this we cannot do anything else so then next we'll have number two number three you try it as your homework number two we have 8x to the power 3 then plus 1 2 5 y to the power 3 here you have power 3 power 3 along with plus you should suspect the same formula but now x we have power 3 this number we don't have can we make it as a power 3 8 can we split it yes using 2 2 4 sa 2 2 2 sa here how many 3 we get 2 so in place of x we can write 2x whole to the power 3 that means this one we can consider it as a plus remain plus y we have to the power 3 but 1 to 5 can we make it power 3 
If we can make it, we apply formula. If we cannot, then we cannot. 1 to 5, ending with 5, we will go with 5. 5 to 10, 5 5 sa, then 5 5 sa 25. How many 5 are there? There are 3, which means that we can apply formula because if you compare to this formula, A will be 2x, B will be equal to 5y. So how we write answer? We write it in the factorized form, right? A plus B whole, A square minus AB plus B square. So remember here, our A is 2x and our B is 5y. What formula we will use? We will use formula A cubed plus B cubed. And that formula is equal to A plus B whole. A square minus AB plus B square. But in place of A, we have to replace with 2X. In place of B, we have to replace with 5Y. Then after that, we will calculate it as it is so now in place of a we have to write 2x whole to power 3 plus in place of b 5y to the power 3 so will be equal to a our a here we have to put 2x then plus from the formula in place of b we can write 5y and then we open the bracket so we have a square, so that means because we have two numbers and alphabet, we have to put square for both, not only for one. Then minus a b, so a that means you multiply with b, then b square. So you square, in place of b we have to put 5y, so you square 5, you also square y. So let us see next step what we can do. Okay, this is part of the question. So let it remain like that. Then here 2x plus 5y. They both have alphabet. We cannot plus, we cannot minus. Leave it like that. Then here we have a number. 2 square, it means 2 into 2. We can write 4. x is alphabet. We cannot remove the bar power it will remain like that then here we have two numbers 2 into 5 10 x y then we also have 5 square so 5 is a number we can multiply 5 into 5 25 but x is a number the power remains same after that they are all on like term we cannot plus we cannot minus that will be the answer. So next question number three. Please try it as your homework.